So the question is, the autopsy provides evidence and the evidence that you base your conclusions on about what happened. And the question is, um, is the evidence complete? Um, and we first learned in 1998 that under, uh, and this is a quote from uh, uh, an AP dispatch, uh, quoting something that happened during uh, interviews that were conducted by the autopsy uh, pathologist, that under oath that uh, to, before the assassination, assassination Records Review Board in uh, 1997, um, Dr. Humes, JFK's chief pathologist, admitted under persistent questioning that differs from what he told the Warren Commission. He had destroyed both the notes taken at the autopsy and the first draft of the autopsy report. Humes told the Warren Commission that he'd burned a first draft of the autopsy protocol, but that he said nothing about destroying the original autopsy note he'd taken by hand on the night of the autopsy or those taken by Dr. Fink. Now, Dr. Fink is the only forensic pathologist there. He apparently prepared notes. So did Dr. Humes prepare notes. Those notes have vanished. <clears throat> now, I, I don't know if it's worth going into too much detail here, but suffice it to say, Dr. Fink was bitterly complaining about the fact that he looked around for his autopsy notes after the completion of the autopsy and they disappeared. And there was uh, this uh, 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 a contact report uh, published by the Assassination Records Review by a doctor who he spoke to about the fact that uh, they disappeared. But the doctors themselves were very, very uh, circumspect and very uh, unhelpful to say the least. They were called in, for example, to, to testify for the Assassination Review Board, uh, Dr. Humes, uh, Boswell, uh, and Fink, and they initially said they didn't want to do so. <laughs> so they finally only appeared when the Assassination Records Review Board threatened to slap subpoenas on them. In any case, uh, Dr. Humes ex has explained several times um, that the reason he burned those original autopsy notes uh, because he did not want them to become, you know, because they had they were splattered with the president's blood and they did not want them to become uh, uh, objects of morbid curiosity. Uh, but again, he didn't destroy all the autopsy notes. He preserved those of his assistant, J. Thornton Boswell. And as anyone can see right here, I've put in some little arrows uh, to pointing where they are. These are also spattered with the president's blood. Um, so he said he destroyed the notes so that they wouldn't be seen spattered with the president's blood uh, because that would you know, only attract morbid curiosity, but he didn't destroy uh, others' uh, notes, those of uh, his associate, J. Thornton Boswell. Um, so what you have is a situation which is fascinating, and that is you have inexperienced pathologists who, were, who had been given misleading information saying that Kennedy had been shot from above and behind and he fell forward after the shots that encouraged them to look to the rear to find the source of Kennedy's demise. He, Ken, Humes, Dr. Humes destroyed both original autopsy notes and the first draft of the autopsy report. And one can only wonder if, if the original pathologist conclusions had been any different if they had heard the truth, that Kennedy had violently rocked backward with a fatal shot and that there were credible reports that the shots had been fired from both the front and the rear. <clears throat> 